Hey there, just a quick vid to show you this cool EVAP cooler, 20 inch box fan EVAP cooler conversion deal I made. Here's everything you need to make it. The fan, plastic panels, EVAP cooler pad, clear vinyl tubing, pump, PVC, optional piece of wood, tote and the wheels. That's everything. Before I get into the build and the details, let me just drop it together and show you what it can do. Sixty one, sixty four. Awesome. Those are super numbers sixty three to sixty eight, seventeen six to twenty Celsius. There's your outdoor temp. That's the air coming into the fan. Eighty four in, sixty four out, roughly. There is definitely water coming off of the board here, but that's because the pad on the back is actually hitting right about here. If you use the egg crate panel though, it won't do that, it'll just go straight down. Fifteen six Celsius, sixty Fahrenheit. Freezing standing here. It's been running about ten minutes now. Fifty five five fifty five. That's about the best you can really get, right there. Fifty five Fahrenheit, twelve eight Celsius on the water. The air is always going to be a few degrees warmer, but it's working perfect. Now after you shut it off, the best thing to do, leave the pump off, flip the fan on again for maybe 10 minutes just to dry out the pad. It'll just suck the dry air through it and it'll dry out the pad real quick. So no chance at all for mold or anything when you do that. So let's do that. Just a quick dry test run, but it's fine, the air is going right through.
Okay, so here's the pieces all cut. We got 14 holes spaced about an inch apart. We've got the 90 degree, the slide coupler with the threads, and the threaded adapter to the barbed, along with the cap. So we just drop these together, add the cap, and then we'll just pop the uh, vinyl tubing on the end of there, half inch clear vinyl tubing, to the pump. All right, we're set. Check this out. You set it on there just like that. By the way, the two hash marks there and the two hash marks there just represent the hole that's on the end of each pipe. So you can line it up exactly where you want. See how it's like an inch indented on both sides? So the water will have enough room to go over, but it won't shoot out. If you cut everything right, it should line up almost exactly just like that and then down to about there. One easy way to get the water in there, just a two foot section over, two foot section down. Notice how well it fits in the screen part of the door. All you gotta do is set it up like that and then open a window somewhere else nearby. Generally in the same room, but maybe in adjoining room. I highly recommend using the wheels on the bottom, by the way. That's just a plastic movers dolly. I think it was $12 at Harbor Freight. But they've got wood ones as low as like eight, last time I checked. Notice one other thing, the pad's not the full size of the fan. That's the closest I could get, but it's totally not noticeable. All the air coming out of there is freezing. It doesn't seem to matter that it doesn't fit completely, so a little bit smaller, totally fine. All right, beautiful. That worked totally awesome. Now I'm just gonna flip the fan on for maybe 10 or 15 minutes just to dry out the pad. This will help dry out the pad really fast. Notice that when you lay the two grills together, the outer one, the one we're adding, is not touching the inner one, it's just touching the edge, because the fan grill is indented. It's the same on the back. So there's actually a lot of airspace in between those two. It's the same over here. So there's no way, essentially, the water's going to get in there, because the water will run down this, some will get on here, but then it's just going to run down. Water doesn't run sideways or up, so it's just going to drip down anyway. And unless it can make the jump, from one to the other, you're not going to get any water even touching this, never mind um, getting all the way into the blades. So that's really not a concern, barely at all with this one. That's a 20 gallon deal right there by the way. So figuring really conservatively, it could probably go through a um, couple gallons, two, three gallons to keep the pump covered. You could probably, you probably got 16, 16 good gallons of uh, usable water in there. And this thing doesn't seem to go through more than about a gallon an hour, even on the driest days. So you should get a minimum, if that's full, with water of about 16 hours before you need a refill. It's totally cool.